In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to embroider with a satin stitch. Satin stitch is used to fill a space like a leaf or a circle like this entirely with yarn, and it creates a beautiful fill with a really plush texture. To get started, you will take a threaded needle. Um, here I've outlined my shape with a pencil. You can draw directly onto fabric outlines like this um, if you don't already have a pre-printed um, shape that you're going to be working to fill. You're going to bring the yarn up from the back to the front of the work with um, sort of right in the middle of the shape uh, that you're going to be filling. And you're going to make sure that you set the angle that you want the all of the stitches to line up with. So if I go directly from the bottom of the top here, I would start in the middle like this so that all the stitches um, would make it be a little easier to line up with that first angle. Or if I wanted to offset it, I could kind of go in this direction. Um, but for this stitch, I'm going to be going, or for this shape, I'll be going bottom to top just um, like that. And work from the middle out to the edges like this. Uh, by bringing the needle all the way back down to the bottom of the piece again. Keep your stitches nice and even if you can. Um, trying not to veer too far off of the shape. Satin stitch takes some practice to get really comfortable with it, but as you go, it just gets easier and easier. Final piece of the circle there. Still going to be pretty long. Um, to get over here to do the next side of the shape, I'm just going to bring the needle back over and start working from the middle out to the other half. And that's it. That's how to do the satin stitch. Uh, once you're completely finished with your shape, you'll come to the back. Although I'm only half done here, I'm just demonstrating and you will tie off just like you normally would with uh, looping your thread underneath another stitch and pulling through twice to knot it off and that's it